To see a tiger hunting boar is extremely rare. To capture it on camera is virtually impossible. But Bagani takes me by surprise. I'm worried. She's taking a terrible risk. But as I watch, I see a new Bagani, a changed tiger. This one is the master hunter I knew at Rantambo. She carefully moves her tail round the grass stems to ensure she makes no noise. Surely, nothing can stop her now. The fact that Bagani leaves her kill shows her confidence. There is no one who would dare take it. This really is her territory now. This is the tiger love song. Male tigers roar to call to females. And females roar to announce that they are ready to mate. Rajo has wandered into Bagani's territory. He must know she's close by. Acting this laid back tells Bagani he's not a threat. She seems impressed. This is the first time in seven months I've seen them together.
a quick peck on the cheek from Bagani. But Rajor still plays hard to get. After all, this is a first date. Rajo and Bagani stay together for three days. And showing Bagani around is an important part of Rajo's courting technique. This is his favorite water hole. And a dip in the pool is guaranteed to impress. Followed by a romantic walk in the park. Tigers form a close bond for the few days they are together. It's not just about sex. I think tigers get lonely. I can only hope that this might be the moment when the new dynasty begins. Spotted deer appear nearby. The cub decides to try his luck. His stalking technique has greatly improved. Now he's acting like a pro. He uses a tree trunk as cover. He places his paws with great care to avoid making even the slightest rustle. Now his success will depend on his timing. Close, but missed again. Nevertheless, this is real progress. The family has moved into the shade, but there's very little space. By the time the cub returns, there's no place for him. His mother makes it clear that he's not welcome. She's starting to lose patience with her grown-up family. The cubs are also far less tolerant of one another. Even their games now have an aggressive edge. It seems they want to play, but are nervous as to what might happen. Again, it's the females who show the most aggression. The squabbling continues as one female tries to settle down for a rest. Eventually, this rivalry will force them apart. 
Mother is equally hostile. She's beginning the process of making her cubs less dependent on her. So the female cub has to find a spot of her own. She's not alone for long. Her brothers are still ready to show affection. It's a peaceful interlude, but an increasingly rare one. The tigress is now within striking distance, but the deer knows something is up. This is not the time to lose your nerve. Lessons are being learnt the hard way, but the cubs now know when to leave it to the expert. This time, the tigress leaves her students behind. The deep cover allows her to move faster than usual. She changes tack. Her best weapon is surprise. She could be anywhere. She kills just two meters from the camera elephant. It's a sandbar. Plenty of food to go round. Tigers often pluck their prey before eating it, a habit they share with leopards. Taking the carcass into cover will conceal it from scavengers. The cubs immediately show how quickly they learn from their mother. He's already making quite a good job of removing the hair. Well, Spot here is usually cool, calm and collected, even though he's naughty too, and he likes to be just as naughty as Stripe, but He's a bit more mellow and he's the one that probably gets beaten up by his brother more so. Stripe's usually the one to do the naughtier things first, but Spot took an opportunity while Stripe was sleeping to beat him in something. <laughs> Will you stop biting me? <laughs> the cubs are now using anything and anyone to try out their new teeth. So Giles has a plan. So this morning, we're going to see if they want to use those carnassial teeth that they've just got. Carnassial teeth are specialist molars that allow carnivores to slice meat efficiently. The fact that they've got those big chewing teeth at the back, the ones that slice the meat, is a good indication to me that they're probably at the point where they can start to uh, chew their own food. So if these guys were in the wild, mum would definitely be taking them to where she's made a kill and probably giving it a go themselves. It's a really, really big step because if they take well to this this morning, then, you know, we can move on to other stuff. This new phase often triggers the development of another specific tiger behavior. They might get a little bit possessive if they really get into it, if they really like it. You might see a little bit of swiping and snarling and being more food-focused than his brother. Boys. 
Giles wants firstborn Spot to give it a go. And you're just the one I wanted. Mm. What's this? What is it? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. No, excuse me. It's my hand. <laughs> no. He got possessive straight away. But he's using his teeth. He's got the idea. To the side. There you go. If I just let it go, he'd keep swallowing it. So the fact that I pull it to the side makes him use his carnassial teeth, which are the ones that are designed for chewing off chunks of flesh. <laughs> Dairy me. Just, I'd leave him alone for a second. Turned into a tiger. No. Uh, 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 uh. Good boy. It's all gone. All gone. And it's not long till Stripe has his turn. So this is Stripe, and Stripe normally isn't as driven for his food as what Spot is anyway, but he's doing a good job. If it was the other way around, with Spot eating the piece of meat, he wouldn't tolerate Stripe jumping all over him like this. He'd be all possessive. So Spot's more driven for the food, but Stripe's giving it a go. <laughs> Just <laughs> easy. Being possessive is completely natural. If they've made a kill in the wild, then they're going to do all they can to keep it. They've spent a lot of energy making that kill. And if they don't eat, then they don't survive. So it's worth investing the energy in, in being <sighs> right on the inside thigh. It's worth the energy investing in trying to protect it. Spot is the more affectionate one, Stripe is the naughtier one. But when it comes to food, as you can see, this little guy's definitely much more driven. Therefore, it makes him a little bit more possessive.